Incoming, firehouse number five. Firehouse number five. Go ahead, dispatch. There's a fire. Sending over coordinates now. Roger, 10-4. Holy smoke, we've got one. Crew, drop your coconuts. Let's go. Straight away, Captain. I think it's gonna be a big one, guys. A big shout out to some of our amazing fans. Sally Good, Lars3006, Funtime Frexy Lover, Milan Ferreira, Yeah Right, Cookie Plays 116, Jillian Mackin, Soraya Young, Glitch Teaser, and Dee Dee Rye. The Ricardo family house is on fire. Let's roll out. You got it, Chief. <laughs> Alright crew, let's get it done. You bet, Chief. Sure thing, Chief. Sasha. Yes, Chief. We need to establish if anybody's inside. You're up. You got it, Chief. Stacy. Yeah, Chief. You're going up the ladder. Do you got that under control? 10-4, Chief. Stanley. Yeah, Chief. You're controlling the ladder. You bet. Alright, people, let's move, move, move. This is not a drill. 10-4. Hold up there, Sasha. Just wait for Stanley to raise the ladder. You got it, Chief. All right, Stanley. Bring him up. Okay. Raising the ladder. Stacy, start heading up. Okay, Chief. Here I go. Chief, I don't think I can get any closer. It's pretty hot up here. All right. Start the water, Stanley. 10-4, Chief. All right, Sasha. Get moving. Affirmative. Come in, Chief. Go ahead, Sasha. Front door's open. I'm going in. Affirmative. Hello? Is anybody in here? Hello? Is anybody here? Do you need assistance? Can anybody hear me? Hello? Anyone? Better check upstairs. How's it looking, Sasha? Low visibility. A lot of smoke in here. So far, the place looks empty. Good. Do you see anybody? Let me know. 10-4. Stacy, how's the roof looking? It's a pretty big blaze up here, Chief. I don't know if I'm going to be able to put it out. You just keep aiming for the hot spots. 10-4. Our house! Excuse me, officer, what's going on? Hold up there, folks. It's not safe for you to be here. I'm gonna need you to get back behind the truck, please. But this is our house. What happened? How did the fire start? We have yet to determine that, ma'am. Do you know if there's anyone in the house? Cupcake. And Buttons, our cat and dog. Hold on. Sasha, come in, Sasha. Go ahead, Chief. Apparently, there's a dog and a cat in the residence. Any sign of them? None yet, but I'll keep looking. Affirmative. But I'm really going to need you folks to stand back. But our house, all of our things are in there. I understand, but it's really not safe for you here. And I can't help put the fire out on your house if I'm worried about your safety. Frick, what are we going to do? I don't know, honey. I don't know. Mom, are they going to find Buttons and Cupcake? Yes, honey, I bet that they will. Okay, because I'm really worried. What if something bad happened to them? Don't worry, Jasmine. Buttons and Cupcake are really smart. I bet they found a great place to hide. I hope so, Johnny. Dad, I'm scared. It's okay, honey. It's okay. The firemen are here. They're going to figure everything out, okay? But our house. All of our toys. And furniture. And clothes. And food. <sighs> Frick, where are we going to stay? I don't know, honey. We'll figure it out. Don't worry. All of our stuff is in there. Oh, my new computer. I just got that thing. <sighs> I know, Marcel. I'm upset, too. We have nothing left, except for what we're wearing. But our main concern right now should be the family pets, because they are part of the family. I know, Mom. It's just, we have nothing. I'm scared, too. Don't worry, Marcel, buddy. Maybe it's not that bad. Maybe it's just a little bit of smoke damage on the inside. 
Chief, what do you say about that? Yeah, can we go in and check? Johnny, you aren't going anywhere. We're gonna stay together as a family where it's safe. Right, officer? Yes, your mom was right, young man. It's definitely not safe to go in there yet. There are a lot of hot spots left. How's it going, Stacy? I don't know, Chief. Doesn't look that good up here. Keep me posted. 10-4. Sasha, come in, Sasha. Sasha, come in. <laughs> Sasha, radio in. Stacy says he doesn't like the look of the roof. I want you out of there, now. Sasha, Sasha. That's it. Sasha, get out of there now. Sasha, Sasha. Stacy, progress report. It's not good, Captain. We gotta get out of here now. Stanley, back up the truck. Get me out of here. I think the roof's about to collapse. Ten four. Sasha, Sasha, can you hear me? Get out of there. Get out of there now. Stacy, there's no word from Sasha yet. I'm going in. Ten four. Folks, I'm really gonna need you to step back. It's definitely not safe now. But what about our pets? They're like part of the family. It is not safe. Step back. Wait, look, what's that? It's Sasha. I found the critters, Chief. Well done, Sasha. I was worried there. Couldn't get you on the radio. Too much interference. That's why I got out straight away. Cupcake. Buttons. You found them. Oh my goodness, they're safe and sound. Cupcake! I'm so relieved. <coughs> Hold on, guys. You can go see your family in a moment. Chief, it wasn't looking good in there. I don't know how much longer that second floor is going to hold. All right. Everybody. <coughs> Chief, Chief! Go ahead, Stacy. What is it? Get out of there now. That roof's going to fall. Let's go, people. Move it, move it, move it. Out of the way. Rick, our beautiful house. It's gone. I know, honey. I know. Where are we gonna live, Mom? I don't have any clothes. Yeah, and I only have this pair of underwear. Mom, Dad, what does this mean? Well, it means, honey, that we're gonna have to find a new house, I think. Right, honey? I guess, but let's not worry about that right now. Okay, first things first. I'm gonna call Mom and George. And I'll call Becky and Jason. Okay, perfect. Excuse me, sir. Yes, officer. We're gonna keep working on the hot spots until all the fire is out. And then we'll start our investigation as to what caused the fire. Perfect, thank you so much. We're just gonna make some phone calls, but we're gonna stay here. I need to know what happened. Of course. I'm sorry, I didn't catch your name. It's Rick, Rick Ricardo. All right, Mr. Ricardo. Once I have some information, I'll let you know. Thank you. Sasha, start working on the hot spots on the outside. 10-4. All right, honey, let's make those phone calls. Right. Mom, after you're done, can I call Shay? Of course, honey. What do you think caused the fire, Johnny? I have no idea, but this is definitely the worst day ever. Yeah, Grace sad. No more home. <gasps> Wait, where Bear Bear? Oh, sorry, Grace. Bear Bear's probably gone with the rest of our stuff. Yeah, and besides, remember, Bear Bear got eaten by Cupcake. That right? Me forgot! Bad Cupcake! Bad! Oh. Grace, you shouldn't tell Cupcake bad. She doesn't know what you're talking about anymore. i sorry, Cupcake. No bad. Where do you think we're gonna live, Jasmine? I don't know, Johnny. I hope in the same neighborhood. I don't want to have to go to a new school. I'm gonna miss all of our friends if we do that. Oh my gosh, I totally didn't even think of that. Yeah, I don't want to move. Can't we just rebuild? I don't know, maybe. What kind of house do you think we'd rebuild? Oh! Build castle! Grace Princess! Hey, I like the sound of that! <laughs> yeah, totally, Grace. Good idea. We could even have a dungeon. Alright. Hey, guys. How you holding up? Okay, Dad. A little bit sad, but Grace had a great idea. Are we gonna rebuild? Can we build a castle? That'd be so cool! Yeah, Dad. But only if it had a dungeon. Well, I don't know about a castle, guys. Please, Daddy. Grace Princess. You sure are, honey. I don't think we can afford to build a castle, though. We're gonna have to figure all that out. But good news! I talked to Grandma and Grandpa and they're out of the hospital. Oh, good stuff. Wait a second, where are they gonna live too? Yeah, where are they gonna live? They'll still live with us. We just have to figure out where we're gonna live. Good news, honey. Hey, Lucy. 
What's your good news? Becky said that we could stay with her and Jason for a while until we figure some things out. Don't you think it's going to be a little bit cramped there? They don't have a lot of space. No, you're right. They don't. But we need to stay somewhere, at least for a little bit. And then maybe we can move into a hotel? I don't know yet. I'm not thinking that far ahead. Awesome! Becky and Jason's all right. What about Grandma and Grandpa? Where are they going to stay? I'm not sure, honey. Maybe they can stay at Becky and Jason's too? Did you get a hold of them? I sure did, honey. Yeah, they're out of the hospital. They're going to meet us here. Oh, perfect. Well, at least we know where we're staying tonight. That's a good thing. <laughs> That's one thing out of the way. But I'd really like to know what happened. What started the fire? So would I, honey. That's kind of scary. Excuse me, Mr. and Mrs. Ricardo. Yes, Chief. Did you find something? We sure did. What is it? What started the fire? Looks to be like this toaster. No, not the toaster. Seems to be that way. Honey, I am so sorry. <laughs> if my love for toast wasn't so big, I wouldn't have tried to made more when it was burning all the bread. I'm really, really sorry. Do you forgive me? Of course I forgive you, honey. It was an accident. You didn't know that that was going to happen. This whole day has been crazy. I totally forgot that you were trying to make more toast anyways. I feel awful. It's okay, Dad. Yeah, like Mom said, Dad, it was an accident. Thanks, guys. I just feel awful. No fault, Daddy. You know no. We love you. Thank you, Gracie, honey. Well, I love you guys, too. Well, this is a fitting ending for a horrible day like we had. I guess there's not much else for us to do here. Right, Chief? No, ma'am. We're still going through everything. If we find anything else, we'll let you know. Thank you. Well, all right, guys. I guess we better head over to Becky's. I'll call George and Judy and tell them to meet us there. Honey, would you mind if I said goodbye first? To the house? <laughs> sure, go ahead. Uh, we'll just wait in the car. Thanks, honey. Come on, kids. Let's go get Marcel. Marcel, we're going! You can talk more to Shay later. Would it be okay, sir, if I said goodbye? Uh, yes, sir, but I can't let you any closer to the house. It's still not safe. No, it's not the house I want to say goodbye to. Huh? Goodbye, my favorite toaster. It's been nice knowing you. Thank you for all the years of giving me perfectly brown toast that I can butter. I'm gonna miss you like no man has ever missed another toaster. <laughs> uh, would you like to keep the toaster, sir? I don't need it for my investigation anymore. <laughs> Thank you, Chief, but no. It would be too hard for me to look at it every day and know that I can't make my perfect toast with it anymore. You can keep it. It was a great toaster. I need to go. It's just too sad. Thank you, Chief, for everything. Keep us posted. Um, yes, sir, I will. You try to perk up there, Mr. Ricardo. Everything's going to be fine. Your family is safe and sound. Your pets are safe and sound. It could have been a lot worse. <laughs> I know. Just doing my job, sir. Farewell. May we meet again one day. Um, goodbye. Sorry, Chief. I was talking to the toaster again. <laughs> Lucy! <laughs> I've never met a man that loved a toaster so much. Strange. Okay, crew, make sure there's no more hot spots. The end. Thanks for watching. To join all the fun up in our treetop, please subscribe to Little Monkey Media's channel. Don't forget, if you like our video, please share it and click like. We go bananas for monkey!